I'm here in the basement of Oliphant Hall at Chapman University, where junior Michael Gribble has spent countless hours composing music for his original musical, A Summer in Madtown. <laughs> Summer in Madtown is a musical about 20 college students and their respective summer breaks. Gribble says the characters are coping with changing relationships and uncertain futures. What the, what the piece is like ultimately like about, I think, is, uh, is just remembering to live in the moment when you can and try not to dwell too much on the past or worry about the future. The fictional relationships Gribble writes about in his musical is inspired by his and his friends' experiences, but ultimately it was a creative outlet for him. I kept finding myself wanting to uh, explore certain feelings I was having right now in, in some sort of piece that uh, could deal with, with, with these thoughts and feelings of college students right now. Gribble's favorite song of the musical is titled, What It Takes. It's about a girl who easily fell in love in high school and faced rejection. The tables are kind of turned on her in college when she meets someone who's the most idealistic, perfect person, but she's, she's grown up at this point and learned to value other things in her life, and she isn't head over, head over heels in love with him, and she's in the position of of having to end a relationship, and it's a big perspective change for her. Gribble was able to make the show a reality due to Archetypes, which is a student club that supports student-written theater and film. It was through Archetypes that he met Amber Steigelfest, who would become his co-director. I hope when the audience watches the musical, they go, oh my god, you too? About um, all of the songs, because I think they're things that we've all experienced. A Summer in Madtown was set to premiere May 15th and 16th at Memorial Hall, but due to recent coronavirus concerns, the show may be delayed. Follow A Summer in Madtown on Instagram for updates. This has been Adrian Mitchell for Chapman News.